Gangs and Children, a short film by Eli Benway and Alex Sorrenti Burns. Kids can be thrown into these dangerous groups known as gangs at young ages. Some as early as 13. Gangs are obviously not a new problem, but they are still a problem that needs to be addressed. This problem has been plaguing our cities and suburbs for years and it is time to find a solution. This is a graph of where gangs are usually located. Gang statistics, 86% of U.S. cities with a population of 100,000 or more report gang activity. Gang statistics, part two. There has been a 40% increase in gang population since 2009. Gang statistics, part three. 90% of hardcore gang members are high school dropouts. Gang Statistics Part 4 60% of gang members will be dead or in prison by age 20. Possible Gang Solutions El Salvador is actually trying to make a truce with the gangs. This has worked only slightly. The country went from 10 murders a day to 6. El Salvador Street Gangs, or MADAs as they are known to locals, operate like armies. They control neighborhoods and can stop buses from running. They are there are many of them as well. They even hold meetings. In other words, they call the shots as well as fire them. But one day in April, the country of six million saw its first day without a single murder in years. This is an opening, part of a peace process that we have been pushing for years a former gang member said at the time. And still, one year into the truce, the reality of life in El Salvador isn't quite simple. Yes, the killings have decreased a lot, but theft and drugs remain at large. Reports of missing people have skyrocketed since the truce began. The problem is far from being solved. Possible gang solutions in the United States. In January 1992, the FBI set up Safety Street's violent crime initiative here in the United States. The task force became the vehicle through which all of the federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies joined together to address the violent crime plaguing their communities. There are nearly 850 FBI agents, more than 1,500 state and local enforcement personnel, and nearly 100 other federal law enforcement agents. According to the FBI statistics, the investigation of Lawrence, Massachusetts chapter in February 2004 Information provides all cooperating defendants led into the significant disruption of the Springfield, Massachusetts chapter in June 2005. 50 Alquin, a big New York gang member, have been indicted in activity. The battle is far from over but the solutions are providing some hope. 
We believe that if we stand together as a country, we can stop this huge problem plaguing our homes.